What's up, you guys? Today we are going to be fixing the DJI FPV drone. Let's go. As you know, I have bought this with my own money, and it's very expensive, and I knew it was going to break, but I didn't get the warranty. So there are a couple questions, and you probably have these questions too. So let's just talk about it. Obviously, I know how to fix drones. I know how to build drones. So I want to know how modular is this actually, because DJI has actually marketed this as a modular drone. Like if you go to their website, you can see like they're saying like, oh, the arms come off and the gimbal comes off and all that stuff. But today we're gonna take it apart and see if that's actually true. If it's easy, if it's hard. You know, I do see screws here and all that stuff and I've seen the videos of people breaking it down. But you know, you don't know until you actually do it and, and see how easy it is for beginners, you know, as opposed to experienced people so there's that and I can, I can i can list out all the tools that i'm using so if you are in the same situation where you've broken this thing you will kind of have an idea of what tools you need i'll list that out second thing i want to know how easy is it for you know let's say like it's a 10 year old kid who wants to fix this thing because he probably crashed it you know um, how easy is it? how accessible is everything and the tools and all that stuff number three is it worth getting the warranty? Obviously, I did not get the warranty. So then the question becomes, was it worth not getting the warranty? I think someone did some calculations, but it's, I think if you got the drone, if you broke it, you send it in, there's a deductible. I think it's a, somewhere between 200 to $500, basically, to get a brand new thing and all that stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's sort of what I've been seeing online. But the thing is, you don't really know. And then it takes however many weeks to get. But the same thing is uh, true for this. You know, you gotta wait for this, these parts to, to get here. Then you gotta then fix it yourself because you don't know if you're gonna be able to do it. So hopefully this video will help with some of these questions that you have. First, if you have not bought it yet, if you're thinking about, thinking about buying it or you've bought it and you're in my same, same situation uh, and you don't have the warranty, you kind of have to fix it yourself, right? So you're gonna wanna know if this is feasible. The last question is, uh, so is, is it all worth it at the end of the day? Was it worth it buying this thing, knowing you, you, I was gonna crash it and I crashed it now that I've crashed it, now I'm gonna fix it. Was it worth it? Well, that I don't know yet because I need to get this back up and running, get it up in the air and then see how I feel about it after tallying up all the costs and all that stuff, which I don't think is that much because I only broke one arm. But uh, you know, yeah, is it worth it? Because here's the thing, just because you have a warranty doesn't mean you're only gonna crash it once. You might crash it two, three times. You might break everything again and again and again. Is the, does the warranty still hold? Good question, right? All right, so let's just get into a little montage of how I'm gonna fix this because I don't want this to be a long video. I don't want this to go on too long. There's a lot of other videos. A lot of other guys have very detailed videos on how to break this down. I'm just gonna go over the major parts and narrate it as I do it. So here we go. So I've got my iPhone rigged up so I can record this top down. Hopefully you can see it. And I, guys, I love this iPhone, man. This is the iPhone 11 Pro. Yeah, 11 Pro, the smaller one. And I've been using it for everything, for all my social media stuff. It's, it looks great. But, but anyways, this is a whole different story. I'm using it to shoot the repair. So as I go along, I'm gonna probably try to narrate it. First thing I wanna point out is my tool set. I've got one of these, uh, it's got Torx, hex, uh, screwdriver, flatheads, all that stuff. It's all in here. You can see it in the iPhone. So anyways, uh, this is what I'm gonna be using. You're gonna need this when you're fixing stuff. This is great because it's got all the small little little ones that you need to fix GoPros and everything. Uh, even like eyeglasses. It's kind of good to have, just if you don't have one of these, you should have a set of these. Anyways, this is what we're gonna use. This is probably what I'm gonna need. And we're gonna just start taking this apart. Okay, so it was pretty easy. We just wanted to take the cover off, which is very easy. Two screws in the front, two on the sides, each side. And I really wanted to wipe everything down because it got really, really dusty. You can't disarm it, basically. 
so it's a it's a it's a freaking lawnmower so here we go we are replacing the old arm with the new arm uh, basically just unscrew the motors unsolder the motor wires transfer all of that onto the new arm and we're routing all the wires through the arm putting it through soldering it back together putting the antenna back on uh, and that's basically it that's all I had to do it was very very easy everything else was just screwing everything back on and uh, making sure all the motors uh, were working and putting on the top cover and that's it it was very very easy for me all right so there you have it it is all fixed up now I guess the last thing to do is to plug in a battery and make sure everything spins up the right way but um, that was actually not too bad uh, the only thing is this part is not lined up completely because obviously it bent uh, but I think it's fine I think it's decent so was it modular no it's not modular you're gonna need a little bit of experience if you do want to fix this but the good thing is you can learn you can, there's a lot of YouTube videos on exactly how to do this I just went over the broad strokes I showed you some stuff it's definitely doable but you're gonna have to learn a little bit is it easy to fix in my opinion yes it's quite easy to fix so I would say this is like I don't know three out of ten the only tricky part is just soldering back the motors but you know you see the other colors solder back on exactly the way you, you take it off the motors wires are exactly the length there's no like extra slack or anything is it worth not having the warranty and fixing it myself for me yes 100 percent because I just ordered the, the, the arm off of eBay. I think there is a US reseller as well, but they're all coming from China, obviously. And there's a lot of information online already. And yes, for me, it's really, really worth it because this only cost me, I think $20. I would recommend just getting the whole set, like spending hundred bucks or whatever. You're paying for the technology. You're not paying for the durability or anything like that. Back to the question, is it worth buying this thing after crashing it? I think so. I think so because it's a lot of fun. It's the newest tech. It's the latest tech. This is the most technologically advanced FPV drone to date. There is no other company, FPV company, that's going to come close to the technology in here. You just can't compete with the amount of money that they're throwing into the R&D to develop this, right? And there is some kind of passion behind that. You do have to understand, yes, it's a big company, but I'm sure that at some level some engineers or the maybe the project manager of that project of this project has some kind of passion for fpv at least recognizing that there is a passion for fpv out there in the community and wanted to fulfill that for other people who are new who can't build who can't you know go out and uh just whip something together and fly perfectly that's what this is for to spread the hobby and to of course it makes money but i bet it doesn't make as much money as like a mavic uh air 2s or whatever that just came out right because it's a smaller audience and they know that that's why i think it's cool to own it because then the next reiteration after we give feedback by making youtube videos i'm pretty sure they're watching this um they're gonna watch this they're gonna take that feedback and then improve the next version so that's why i say if you do have the means, if you do, if you are interested in this, why not buy it, you know, and uh, enjoy it. The main thing is to enjoy it. I think it's worth it to be able to fix it yourself. Don't buy the warranty because, you know, next year there's probably going to be the next version. Almost positive. The next one is coming very, very soon. Well, I guess maybe don't buy it because the next one's coming very soon. I don't know. I'm going to keep enjoying this. I'm going to keep flying it. And I hope you guys do too. Stay tuned for more tips now that I'm back in the air. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.